welcome to Season 3 Intercell Outback Series Chase Race number 8 here at Pigs Creek. This is one of the final good chances that drivers will have to try to catch up on points leader Justin Talpas as he is trying to run away with the championship. Chase Race number 8 at Pigs Creek is a big test because this is one of those tracks that champions can be made. On the pole is Austin LaPlante, second is James Qualls, third is Lloyd Erickson, fourth is Nick Smith. He's pretty much one of the best drivers that can hunt down Justin Talapas. Fifth is Anthony McCurry. Sixth is Preston Floyd. Seventh is Cole Daly. Eighth is Justin Talapas as a points leader. He'll be starting eighth. Ninth, Dylan Poteet. Round the top ten is Joshua Michaels. Here's the rest of your starting lineup here at Pigs Creek. And on the final row, we have John Sedino and Alan Cavagnaro, a couple chasers there. So, the main question is this, though. Eighth place, Justin Talampass. Starting very well in the field, but he's on the outside. If he can survive this race very well, and... If he can finish very well ahead of the uh, rest of the field in uh, FTF, then he will run away with the championship, and he will actually um, clinch, him, clinch himself a championship. So a lot of eyes are going to be on him, and a lot of eyes are going to be on Nick Smith. So looking at the points, um, Talent Pass has got a five-point lead over Nick Smith. Now, if both those drivers struggle, the next person that can catch up to them by points wise are these drivers oh and Renzi before I say something Renzi didn't get going oh Cassandra Renzi and Seth Cole didn't get going I think now he's trying to get back up to the spot there we go Renzi she's a non chaser and did not get going are you serious? They're gonna they wave the caution. Oh, they did. All right, we're gonna take a quick break, and we'll get you back to the green. Perfect timing. Green flag is out as we're underway here at Pigs Creek. So what I was saying was that after uh, Town Pass, Nick Smith, they finished badly. Next part, the next group of people I should say to keep an eye on are Austin Laplante. Alan Cavagnaro, Sean Galligan, Lily Erickson, John Cittadino, Charles Rodriguez, and Jake Baskinger. They are separated each by about six points. From Austin Plano, it was 2061, which you also have um, a tie for or John Cittadino then. Then after that would be a tie with 2059 each with Baskinger and Galligan. Then you got Rodriguez with 58, and then 56. For Alan Cavagnaro, pretty much, and then Lee Erickson too with the 2055. All those drivers, so seven or eight, oh, six, seven points. Great fails. So a lot in stake in this race. There, Talent Pass. He is put up into the inside middle line. If Talent Pass finish, finishes very well, along with Nick Smith, I think it's safe to say it's going to be two car battle for the championship. Drivers in the back of the field. I think they're, you know, they're in the very back of the. Oh my goodness! Oh, Lord, holy cow, and now they're going where the points leader is. Oh, my God. Jake Baskinger now to the lead. Jake, um, Austin Mungle now to the lead. I almost just said Jacob Anthony. Oh, my goodness, the points leader. Not in a good spot, but behind them, they're worse. Oh, dear me. Telepass, he's going to get involved in Michael Norman. He's flipped over. Telepass around. Where's Nick Smith? There he is. He's going to make it through. Galligan got a little bit involved. Oh, Pichu got involved. Anybody else? Jack Richards, Jacob Lawler, Jake Baskinger. One of those guys we mentioned. He is your leader right now. Trevor Germain trying to get around him. There's John Cittadino also there. And there's Renzi. She's lapped down. So she'll be on the inside line. There's the Max. Look at that. The Max Cavagnaro. They start toward the back there. Cavagnaro chaser there. Oh, Noah Kowski involved. Michael White. Erickson! Oh, no! One of the people who was uh, supposed to do well on the points. 
I think this is the end for her championship run. Oh, Devin Becker. Daniel Day, another chaser. He's done. His championship hopes are done. Wait, is Poti? Yes, Poti is smoking. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to take a quick break and show you what happened on the caution. Oh, well, we're back, and you're going to have to put the blame on James Qualls there. He's just going to lean on Daniel Day and just have a couple chasers there. Michael Norman, Jacob Waller, they're innocent victims right there. They get involved. Oh, there's Renzi. They, she just got caught, too, and she, unfortunately, is going to get uh, lapped down there. And Michael Norman flipped over there. Oh, Noah Kowski and Noah Hart turn into each other. We'll take a look at that in a moment. There's Michael Norman. Biggie Spitzer, there's Talbess. He does have a little bit of damage. I don't know how that is going to affect him. You see a lot of the non-chasers involved, but there's Lily Erickson. Oh, she runs into Dylan Young right there in the back end. And then Michaels also gets into her. There's Thomas also spinning. There's Becker in the grass. There's Galligan. There's McCurry. There's Dada. That's three chases there. Richie was around. I didn't see him get involved. That's another chaser. Oh, and he gets hit by Ford. And uh, he was already eliminated from uh, uh, contention. Uh, mathematically. And he's going to get no piece of Young right there. And I think Rodriguez made it through as well as uh, LaPlante. But, gotta look. Oh! Oh, Lily Aaron. Oh, Noah Kowski. That's right. We gotta we gotta see what happened to Noah Kowski. Oh my God. Oh. And this was because they caught up to the twenty two as lap traffic. Twenty two did not get started. Twenty nine just gets sideswipes the twenty two goes into the forty one. And. Oh, man, Noah Kowski's going to get air. Noah Hart gets air. They both don't flip, which was a good thing, but Hart was able to get it back up onto the track, but Noah Kowski is spinning around, and I have a bad feeling what's going to happen because I know this is open grass, but there's a wall right there, and oh, nailed it from the back end. Going very fast, and that car is going to go upside down. Man, that is a hard hit. For the at and Chevrolet Camaro. And he gets hit by someone. Oh, that was Michael White. If one barrel roll was enough. He was on top of James Qualls at that moment. Oh, my word. Now, what happened to the one? Oh, and she runs into Michael White. And just, her day is over. Dada barely avoiding it there. And there's Nowakowski sliding onto his roof. Sliding down the track. And, oh, Dunham gets a little piece. Uh-oh. And I'm feeling Poti. Oh, he just gets a little bit of contact. And he his car's smoking. Oh, man, LaPlante. The good, good thing, though, no one hits Nowakowski again. Thank goodness, too. And that's not good. So the 18's going to get a few spots because of that. Posey, I think that's all she wrote for him. And for a few others as well. Caution's out. Baskinger leads. Take you back to the green. Thank God, we got breaking news. Nick Smith just blew up on the track. Are you serious? Second in the points has blown the camshaft. Oh, my God. Five points behind he was from the 18 of Town Pass. Let's check with the chasers real quickly. Uh, Smith's only going to get four points after that. So we're still under caution. We're going to take you back to the green. We just want to let you know what happened. Well, after noticing that, we're back. And uh, third of the race is going to be complete. And I'm just shocked. Second of the points, blew his engine. And drivers of the race besides the Nick Smith, there's follows Lily Erickson, chaser for her. She's possibly going to be done after that for going for the championship. Devin Becker in 41st, 40th is uh, 14, Pichu London, 39th is Noah Kowski, thank goodness he's okay though, 38th is Michael White, 37th is James Qualls, 36th is Dylan Poti, another chaser, I think he's safe to say he's done, as well as Daniel Day, 36th, 35th, they're going to get two, two for Poti, three for Day, uh, Michael Norman in the three, in 34th, 
35th, 33rd was Jacob Lawler, and four points will be for Nick Smith. Renzi still one lap down. Give your top ten run as usual. Jake Baskinger, your leader. Trevor Germain, second. Seth Cole, third. Anthony Ritchie, or excuse me, John Sedino, fourth. Fail. Fifth is Austin Mongold. Sixth is Eugene Max. Seventh is Alan Cavagnaro. Eighth is John McNamara. Ninth, Ian Dutta. And running out top ten is Joshua Michaels. Green flag's back out. Let's find other chasers there. Char Rodriguez, 13th. 14th, Will Plant. 15th, Galligan. Uh, McCurry is 20 with no hood. Richie is 23rd. Dunham, 20... Or, not Dunham. Great. Well, he is 24th. Town pass. He's 28th with very little damage on his car. He's going to be passing some uh, non-chasers. The I guarantee he's going to pass um, McCurry. Then again... Okay, yeah, he is going to pass him. Guaranteed, Town Pass is going to pass McCurry, unless McCurry just, like, makes it through wreck and Town Pass doesn't. So, a lot of guys are going to be on Town, or Town Pass throughout the rest of this race, and some of the chasers. Normally, chasers in this race, when we have been here, they have won both seasons. A non-chaser has not won this race for the Outback Series. Renzi, now trying to get her lap back. Here comes Citadino. To the lead, he's got it now. Wants to put Renzi one lap down again. That sucks for uh, for uh, Renzi there. Her dry, her uh, friend Erickson out of the race, the chaser there, and uh, safe to say she's probably not going to win the championship. But even also worse, excuse me there. Even also worse, the 22 is one lap down. It really does not help. There's Cedino go for the lead. Look at Rodriguez going low. He really wants that lead. Last car in this main pack that could still be a factor is Cody Lamas, unless um, Michaels, Onesto, Dunham, and Daly, they can uh, catch up, and I think they're going to do that. As well as Anthony Ritchie, he really needs it, but I don't think he's going to have enough time. Sheldon's probably a little bit behind. And then from Ryan Richards on back, they pretty much have no chance. Curry really off the pace. Rodriguez is leading. Here comes Cavagnaro to the inside for the lead. Chasers are in the top five right now as we speak, and not for long because of Jermaine. And look at Baskinger trying to peek underneath Sanford for five wide, and we'll do it. Cavagnaro trying to lead the lap. Leading laps don't matter, but it does feel great at the stripe. Be less than ten laps to go. And we're at the halfway point. Galligan to the lead. This is big, though, for Talent Pass to get a little bit involved in the wreck, though. He is behind. Big. And I think the next thing they want to hear is that 18 involved because of the 5 car retiring out early there. And if the 18 can get out out of the race as a chaser, uh, where he only gets 5 points, not only will it be good for Nick Smith because he's only 6 points behind, but good for other drivers like, like we mentioned before. Uh, you know, Galligan, who's up here. You got LaPlante. You got Baskinger. You got Dutta. Dutta technically, he's. Mm, I don't know if he can get a win. He'll still be alive. Rodriguez, he still has a chance. Cavagnaro, he still has a chance. So interesting there. Instead of Dino, definitely has a chance as well. But yeah, it's it's safe to say if Dutta can get a win, where he gets 16 points, he can. It's safe to say he will. He is still alive. For the championship hunt. But these guys are going six wide. Holy moly. Oh, they were going five wide. And now they're going to sell it back out to four. Good good thing by these drivers. And now Dutta to the lead. So what's the good thing with Talent Pass not being in this pack. Is that Talent Pass won't get as many points. Dunham is actually caught up to this pack. And, Dun and uh, Onesto and Dally are behind. There's Talent Pass in the back. Biggie Spencer's caught up to them. Where's Talent Pass? He's in the 29th position. Curry is 30th. Here comes Mongold to the lead. Mongold not having a good of a season, you know, ever since replacing uh, Jacob Ant Antony in the 66. Uh, Biggie Spencer has a decent season despite the win that he had at Kansas, which was his first career. And uh, Let's see where the 10 is right now. I know he's in the pack. He is 27th at the time, so good to see that, though. Oh, they just wrecked again! Gene Sanford, Cody Lamas! Cautions out! Onesto! Oh, they made it through! Oh, where is the 18? Oh, lucky break for that 18, though. 
Nothing's going to happen. Couple of non-chasers getting involved, and uh, these guys are still racing back to the stripe, but good thing for those drivers, though. They aren't going to be damaged and uh, way behind. Oh, a couple cars fell off the pack. That's LaPlante, Dunham, and Galligan, and Baskinger. These guys are slowing down because they already crossed the stripe. Guys are still racing back. And who's going to lead it? Renzi's trying to get her lap back. This would be huge for the 22. She'd be behind, but I don't think she cares. She wants to get on the lead lap. Jermaine trying to say no. Citadino's trying to say no as well. And it looks like Renzi... Oh, look at look at the 66 of Mongol trying to beat Citadino. Renzi's going to get her lap back, and it's going to be... Who is it? Citadino barely up the stripe. So Renzi is now going to be back on the lead lap. That's a big break for her, too, and I don't think she cares about being a lap down. She wants to get in the lead lap and, uh, you know, try to go for the win, but now that 22 is going to get around the pace car, and now they're going to try to settle it out about where they're supposed to be. Main thing is they got to let the Citadino you know, on by as its leader. Where are those two? There's Samper. And there's Lamas heading down pit road. Lamas has got front end damage. Gene Sanford's got back end damage. So then again, mistake. Caution's out. We're on lap 12-18. Let's take a look what happened. Sedino, your leader. We're back, and uh, here's what happened. It looks like Gene Sanford, she was trying to get underneath the Max. And I don't know what happened to the 30. Oh, that 34 just brake checked. Something went wrong in the car. Baskinger gets involved right there. And the 34 looked like she was going to be okay, and then just comes right into Lamas. Man, nowhere to go for the 34. And they both spin out, and the good thing is that they didn't throw the caution where Baskinger was, but they threw caution right where Ernesto and Dally were, but just a two-car incident, which is a good thing. And um, that was it. Caution's out. Take it back to green. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a three-lap shootout to determine the winner of this race. Only one driver's out of the race, and that is Cody Lamas in the 31st spot. Talent pass at the time was 24th, and he was only ahead of one chaser that's active on the track. So, with Smith getting four, that would mean McCurry get five, and Talent pass would get only six points. So, that would mean two points ahead of Nick Smith. So, that would mean he would only be seven points ahead of Nick Smith heading into Chase Race 9 at FTF. John Cittadino is your leader. Jacob, er, uh, Wow. Damn it, I knew it. Mongold, second. Third, Jeffrey Jermaine. Fourth, Donald Cavanaugh. Fifth, Charlie Rodriguez. Sixth, Seth Cole. Seventh, Eugene Max. Eighth, Chris Washer. Ninth, John McNamara. And tenth, is Ian Dutta. Green flag is out. I knew I was going to do that. Beautiful. Sorry there, Austin Mongol. I didn't mean to say your name. Say, uh, Jacob Miami, it's your name. Great. Sudadina, though, he is your leader, and he's trying to get the 16 big points, though. If, um, if he can get it, he would be... Closing in on talent pass, but not enough for the get the points lead, but it would really change the game up for sure. Citadino holding them off right now. Here comes Jermaine for the second spot. Cavagnaro also coming along with Seth Cole in the 62. Rodriguez and, and uh, Dutta, they're trying to work together. Galligan also, and there could be some new faces that are going to try to get up here. Think you got Daly, Richie, Shelton, Michael, Zonesto. And then these guys are falling off. And there's Renzi trying to work her way up to the main pack when you thought she was going to go away. Not so fast. Talent Pass still in 24th. And McCurry still in 20th. Uh, actually, well, he, he's 28th because he got around Samper, which I'm surprised. But, man, a 22 is trying to work her way back up through the field. And is trying to go around the slow cars on the high line. But I don't think she's going to have enough time to go for the win. But I think positions matter to her. Two laps to go, though. McNamara leading. Here comes Ian Dutta to the lead. And here comes Sean Galligan through the middle. Tucks back in line. Galligan now going to the inside for the lead. Peaks underneath. Yoshi trying to go for the lead. Three wide for second. Or, for third, I mean. Now Jermaine, four wide for the lead. This is why this track is loved and great in the chase races. Rodriguez trying to help Galligan. Jermaine has got the lead. But here we go. Coming off turn number four. It's anybody's game. But I think the Chasers want those 16 points. 
They want it. They want to catch up to Talent Pass as much as possible. But which of these drivers can do it? White flag display. Jermaine leads. Rodriguez going to the lead. Cavagnaro trying to go low. He's trying to be a three-time winner. Can't do it. Now Cavagnaro trying to go underneath Jermaine. He's going to do it to Max. Look at Cavagnaro with the power run to the inside of the lead. Rodriguez has not even won a chase race, and he's doing so well. The consistency really helped him. He's going to get around the outside. Now he's going to tuck back in line. Now he's going to make a crossover move for the lead. Rodriguez looking for his first career Outback Series victory. And I think he may do it. Coming off turn three. He's got to get a really good run. McNamara trying to get in onto his bumper. Is he going to make a move? Yes, he is. John McNamara to the inside for the lead. Trying to spoil it for the chasers. Cavagnaro, the best thing he can do is try to help Rodriguez out. Here we go. Coming off turn four. It is anybody's race. Rodriguez trying to get that run on the high line. Trying to get the win. McNamara's got the advantage. Here we go. Off the small little corner. Checker flag is waving and it's going to be... Oh, I think Rodriguez may have got it. And he did. Charlie Rodriguez has just won here at Pigs Creek. His first career Outback Series victory. And this is going to be big heading into the championship picture. Wow. Rodriguez, that really helped him. Alec Cavagnaro, what a good move. He helped the chaser out. He's going to end up fourth. He's going to get 13 points. Citadino is going to get 12. Galligan 11. Donna 10. LaPlante 9. Baskinger 8. Uh, let's see. Richie 7. Renzi came away in 20th. A little bit off the pack, but still good. And Justin Talapas is going to come away with a 27th place. He's only going to get 6 points out of it. Seth giving a little congratula congratulation uh, bump there. And now, let's see if they're going to fail. Let's see if they fail on pit road. I actually want to see this. Oh, and they do. All right, Galgan just gets wrecked. Oh, he got wrecked twice. <laughs> wow, all right. Now they're bumping each other. I have no idea why. They're like bumping each other. I, I have no idea why. Oh, and they're really bumping each other. There is Talent Pass. Got spun out, got a little bit of damage, but... We'll see how it will go, though. He's not hes not too far behind, or excuse me, ahead of Nick Smith, but uh, there's going to be someone else that's going to be closing in on him, though, and it's Rodriguez. So, thank you guys for watching. If you like this speech, be sure to give it a like, comment beneath to keep your eye, right. subscribe, be a part of the NRSL. See you guys for Chase Race number 9, FTF in the Outback Series. But first, we got the Cup Series that's also going to take its time here. If Clint Smith and see if we can go, if he can go three in a row. Till then, take 6 7 5 3 0 9 8 5 8 signing off. Here come the results. Here come the points for the chase. See you guys later on. The season is almost over. Here we go. Here they come. Peace.